hidden on inaccessible ledges and cliffs beyond the reach of sheep and deer, one of the rarest Arctic alpine plants in the UK is clinging on for survival in its last remaining locations. The Alpine Blue South Thistle remains in only four extremely small mountain populations in Scotland, which all lie within the Cairngorms National Park. This stunning, tall but delicate pink-flowered plant struggles to reproduce under such inhospitable conditions. Monitoring these four populations over time is an important part of our work here at the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh. Each year we revisit the sites to count the number of flowering stems and measure the size of, of the populations. For most locations, this work is only possible with the help of professional climbers, as the ledges are steep, small and treacherous. Genetic diversity is the basis for plants to survive in such challenging and changing environments. To give this plant the best survival chance, it is therefore crucial to maintain a maximum of its genetic diversity in the wild. Genetic data collected from wild populations showed that the Alpine Blue South Thistle is even rarer than we thought. Few individuals are left which only reproduce by cloning themselves. Our nursery is now growing plants of this endangered species from a wide genetic range for reintroductions but also to safeguard it in the UK for future generations. Having the plants at the botanics allows us to safely study their reproductive biology and genetic diversity without further endangering wild populations. In 2017, we used genetically mixed populations from our nursery stock to reintroduce this iconic plant into three carefully chosen locations in the Cairngorms National Park. These new locations are characterized by similar climatic and ecological conditions to wild populations. And this means that we've had to put a lot of effort into climbing to steep and remote locations with 240 plants on our backs. We've spent several days digging holes and planting them out into their new homes. All that hard work is worthwhile though, as we hope that these translocations will build the basis for creating healthy, viable and self-sustaining populations for the future.